Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about bike storage. This is the time of year when you start to think about putting away your stuff, maybe transitioning from one kind of bike to another kind of bike. Maybe you're pulling out the skis and you're putting away the bikes all together, I hope not. Whatever you're doing, you're trying to keep things dialed. When we moved into this house, my wife said I could have the mud room. So I thought, I wanna do something really cool and different. I designed and installed this system with the help of a friend and everybody who sees it tells me I should sell it. Well, I'm not interested in being in the bike rack business, but I'll show you how you can make it for less than the cost of those fancy racks. But first, let's go through the racks of my past. I've had a lot of history with racks. I've had bikes in the living room, bikes in the garage, bikes in my office, spikes hanging from hooks in a shed. Turns out my favorite is just the hanging hook because I can get more bikes per square foot. The only downside of the hooks is when you got them set up so they're pretty tight, pulling a specific bike out of the middle can be like pulling a bone in that game operation. It's not impossible, but it's a pain. And so I was looking at Steady Rack because they actually pivot. You can still put your bikes in pretty tight, maximize storage, but then you can pivot them away and grab a bike out of the middle. So I liked that but it was gonna be 650 bucks to store eight bikes, and I don't love the way they look. I wanted something really cool, because this is inside my house. To me, the perfect system is hooks, but if the hooks could move, it would be the best of both worlds, so that's what I wanted. I thought about how to do it, and then finally the answer came in barn door hardware. With the sliding hooks, it's easy to get bikes out. Is it a BMX day? It is not a BMX day today. It is not a dirt jumper day today. It's not my, my grab and go all around her. I'm gonna ride a little trail. All right, downhill bike, I wish, but not today. These rails come in eight foot sections, which was perfect for me, but you can cut them down if it's too wide and you need to store fewer bikes, or you can actually daisy chain them together if you wanna store even more bikes. The steel box section is incredibly stiff and strong, and if you bolt it to your ceiling studs, it will easily hold all your bikes. These rollers slide inside the rail, and your bike is gonna hang off of this, and they're load rated at 450 pounds. I hope you don't have a bike that weighs 450 pounds. Maybe you could hang your dirt bike. This hook is the traditional size. What I've got up here is the jumbo size. These work great for road bikes, and the others work great for mountain bikes. You're gonna have to take that hook, and you're gonna have to attach it to that roller. It's very, very simple to do. And I'll take you through it step by step. All you'll need is some washers and some 5 16 nuts. Before you say it, you're right. These nuts aren't made for the threads of these hooks. The hooks are threaded like a screw is threaded. The nuts are threaded like a bolt is threaded. You won't wanna reuse these nuts, but they will thread and they do hold. Get the nut about an inch down, pull it into the roller, now twist it so it's at the angle you want. Now add a washer and another nut. Tighten it all up and put it into place. Make sure this is not sticking up past these wheels because it won't move freely through. Follow that same procedure for all your rollers and hooks. And now it's time to install the box rails. First, find the ceiling joist with a stud finder. Mark where the joists are. Have somebody help you hold the rail in place and mark where the holes need to be. Transfer your marks and use a quarter inch drill bit to drill your holes. The ends have already been drilled and this will come in handy later. Once your rail is installed, it's time to slide in your sliding hooks. Now is the time when those end holes come in handy. This is where you install your stop. This is an old elastor, I think from a seat post. It can be a bit of angle iron or a stack of washers. As long as it sits up proud about a half inch, it doesn't really matter but that's what keeps your bikes from rolling out the end. Now it's time to hang your bikes and bask in your DIY awesomeness. Slap it up there, let it grab. 